This is Horanio, South Africa's white only town. There is no sexual access to enter this rural South African town. Similar to so many others, but very quickly the uniqueness of Orania is obvious. Here, everyone is white. To enter Orania, you have to qualify on certain parameters. The foremost is the color of your skin. It has to be white, because Orania is a white-only town. The uniqueness is too obvious to ignore. Orania is located in Karo, a semi-desert area lost in the middle of the country. The population of this town is 2,500 Afrikaners, descendants of Dutch and French. And the population of this town has increased steadily since it was founded 30 years ago when the apartheid regime fell. According to the people in this town, they are not racist. That's what they say. But they don't allow any person that is not white to live in this town. Indian, black, orange, any person of color is not allowed in Orania. They say they just want to live among themselves in security far away from the rest of the country, South Africa. We want to remain here. We also want to retain our identity. Now, to retain one's identity is not a racist impulse. We wanted to retain our identity against the English or the British uh, imperialism also, and they're even whiter than we are. They say South Africa has power cuts, administrative failures, unpredictable violence, and other inequalities. So they want to live among themselves, securely, without living with people of any other race. Recently, in the past, uh, say 10 years, seven years round about, our population growth started snowballing. Uh, we had growth um, uh, as fast as 10% annually for, for the past seven years, of which the past two, three years were between 14 and almost 17% annual population growth. Wherever you go in this township, you will only find Afrikaners. White people with Dutch ancestry. They do all the work, from playing the piano at the church to reading out the Bible to believers, to running the kitchen at a restaurant. To even gardening at orchards. All jobs, big or small, are reserved for white people. According to SouthAfricaInfo.com, South Africa has a population of over 50 million people, but 80% of those people are blacks. But when you reach to Orania, this town doesn't have any black person. Not workers, not any gardener, not any cleaner, not any farm workers are black or people of any other color. They're only white. Arania is often dubbed as the last outpost of apartheid, a system of institutionalized racial segregation. South Africa abolished apartheid in the 1990s, but the legacy lives on in Arania. In fact, the township was founded by the son-in-law of Hendrik Vervoort, South Africa's former prime minister, who's considered to be the architect of apartheid. The small town prides itself on having broken the colonial labor practices, which consisted of using cheap black labor for all the hard or manual work. Meanwhile, on a daily basis, its inhabitants live in a parallel reality where black South Africans do not exist or at least are invisible. Under South Africa's constitution, Orania has the right to self-determination and operates autonomously from the central government. The town has its own currency, the Aura. It's also seeking energy independence through solar in a country large, powered by coal and deep into an energy crisis. Would-be residents of Orania must share the values and subscribe to the town's goals. <laughs>